Hey guys, this is Ron from the Ryan Champ Culture. How are you today? Um, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Listen, it's one o'clock in the morning. I really can't sleep, and I want to really talk to you about this thing real quick. Uh, but first, I want to say thank you to the new subscribers to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Much appreciated. You guys are commenting. We're having, you know, back and forth. I'm much appreciated. I like. I appreciate you guys liking the the content. It means that you like what my opinions are. You like what I'm saying. So, hey, I'm gonna continue to do it. So anyway, I want to get right into it. I'm going to pull up Google Chrome, and I'll be using my handy dandy tab. Uh, what was I going to say to you guys? I, I don't have the technology yet, so I can show you. Let me just turn this up. Let me just let me show you. This is the Uber newsroom. It cannot be so bright on this. All right, there we go. Uh, we got the. Hey, I'm doing it here. I'm doing it on the fly. Okay, don't be mad at me. Anyway, basically, this this article is coming from this guy named Dennis Cinelli. He is the uh, vice VP for the U.S. and Canada mobility part of Uber. Uh, this is the Uber newsroom. It's coming directly from the news, Uber newsroom. So I'm going to read exactly what he's talking about. And this is getting drivers back on the road. I'm going to read it as fast as I can. So I'm to keep you here. I'm going to put the link in the description below if you want to read it yourself. So it says here, after a year of shutdowns and staying in, Americans are getting vaccinated and cities are opening up. And as they do, Uber is starting to come back. As we recover, we want to reinvest in drivers. We're launching a $250 million driver stimulus to boost already high earnings for drivers. Boosted incentives and guarantees will help welcome existing drivers back to, the, uh, back to Uber and ensure first-time drivers do well as they learn the ropes. In 2020, many drivers stopped driving because they couldn't count on getting enough trips to make it worth their time. I don't know about that, but okay. In 2021, there are more riders requesting trips than there are drivers available to give them, making it a great time to be a driver. I'm going to pause it real, deal, real fast. I saw a screenshot on one of the Facebook groups that I follow, and I'm going to explain about my market. My market starts in the bottom of Port St. Lucie all the way down to Homestead in Miami. That's considered the Miami market. That's what it's called, the Miami market. This driver that put a screenshot in the Florida Facebook group was in uh, an area called Vero Beach. He got a lift request an hour away from him in Orlando. That's crazy. So Uber's not only have an issue with deficit of drivers, Lyft is also doing it, but that's gonna be another video. But this one, I'm talking about how Uber is trying to get drivers back on the road, because they do have a deficit of drivers. Uh, there's been conversations about it, even on YouTube. You can check it even on CNN, CNBC, Fox Business. You can watch it on there too. Anyway. Uh, um, in 2020, many drivers stopped driving because they couldn't count on getting enough trips to make it worth their time. In 2021, there are more rider, riders requesting trips than there are drivers available to give them, making it a great time to be a driver. Here's how much drivers are making right now in several cities. These figures are before tips and before a single dollar of the $250 million stimulus has been spent. So this is giving you five cities. And I don't even know, I'm going to turn this off. Maybe then I'll, I'll show it to you guys if I can. Let me, let me see something. You do this real fast. I don't want to take too much of your time. But maybe y'all can see that. It gives you uh, five of these uh, markets. And I'm going to go ahead and read them out to you as we, uh, if I turn this light back on, it's weird. Okay, so Philadelphia, Chicago, Austin, Miami, Phoenix. So Philadelphia is at $31 an hour. Chicago's at $28. Austin is at $26. Miami is at 26, Phoenix is at 26, okay? Per hour, this is before expenses are paid to whatever the car needs and maintenance and all that, gas and all that. That's what is here. So it says here we want drivers to take advantage of higher earnings now because this is likely a temporary situation. As the recovery continues, we expect more drivers will be hitting the road, which means that over time earnings will come back to pre-COVID levels. Guys, they're telling you this in the article. They're telling you what they want, what's gonna happen, right? We also want drivers to know that they're working, that we're working to keep them safe. One third of adult Americans have received at least one dose of the vaccine. And they say adult because we have drivers who range from 21 uh, all the way up to 70, 80. I mean, that's stupid. I know one guy who's 75 years old drives an Uber. You wanna do it, hey, that's him. He, he got time for it. Um, so I think that's what they mean when they say one-third of adult Americans. 
And then also kids haven't gotten it too. But anyway, have received at least one dose of the vaccine, but we're continuing to require that all riders wear face masks. We also made it easier for drivers to navigate the vaccination process with streamlined appointment, appointment booking through our partnership with Walgreens. They have a highlighted link there. Maybe I'll click on that. I'll leave the link in the description below because you guys can check it yourself as well. We hope drivers, new and old, will take advantage of this opportunity over the next few months and join us as cities get moving again. That's an asterisk that was next to the uh, medians, uh, median earnings per hour section with the cities that I just told you about. And it says these, the figures above represent median hourly earnings. That's the Uber service fee for all time on the Uber app, not just engage time. For drivers spending 20 hours a week online per week, these earnings do not account for expenses, which are drivers' responsibility. While the costs vary based on vehicle choice, fuel prices, and other factors, we looked we looked at the most two popular vehicles on the Uber platform, which is the Toyota Prius, true, and the Toyota Camry, true. According to our nationwide estimate, costs hover around three to four dollars fifty cents an hour for these two vehicles that they just specified. This is not a guarantee of future earnings. Earnings can vary depending on many factors, including time spent driving with Uber, rider demand, and other factors. All right, I read that article. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below so you can read it yourself. I want to be very quick and very clear, guys. This is a business move. All right, it's a business move. And the reason I'm saying it is because people get hooked on this and then they get mad when Uber does a switcheroo. I mean, they're literally are telling you here what this is, right? Now, the video I just did before talking about with the California situation, um, I haven't done more research in it, but it looks like from what I'm seeing, it's like they trick the drivers. They're like, hey, look. Go ahead and go get Proposition 22 passed so you don't have to be employees and we'll do this for you. That's what it kind of seems like. But I assume that in their contract with that multiplier and destination thing, there's something in there that said they, they, they could change it. Right? So here, it's actually telling you, it's giving you. See, Uber's going to spend money to get new people on the road and try to get people back. Now, it's kind of weird. That riders, are there are more riders requesting than drivers. Usually it's more drivers than riders, so then you kind of have this back and forth where uh, uh, fares are so low anyway. The only reason that we're, we're making money is because of multipliers and guarantees right now. And it's not because per mile, per minute, and base rate. It's not because of that. It's because of the promotions, the guarantees. That's what's happening. Um, here in South Florida, drivers are making phenomenal money. I mean, 800 uh, one guy did 700 in a day uh, in an Uber X car. I mean, phenomenal. You got Suburbans making 1000 to $1,200 with their vehicles. Um, just doing. Drivers have spent money on cars, too. There are drivers driving Mercedes-Benz now. I mean, I mean, I mean, not, not like regular, like the E-Class. E-Class, C-Class. And then, um, what's the other one? GL, the GLE. I said GLE one guy had a GLE, a GLC. Uh, and also the big guy, the GLS. Uh, and also, there were two Uber drivers who just acquired the new 2021 Escalade. The big, the new one. ESV, the wrong one. Not the older one. But anyway, what I'm saying is they're making all this money. And they're spending this money. And see, they just put that in consistent. They say, hey, look, these are the two cars, right? They don't talk about XL. They don't talk about Premier. They don't talk about Premier SUV, which... Now, there's going to be another separate video that I want to talk about. But they're trying to get drivers back in the world. They're trying to incentivize them. Now, I don't have a problem with this because this is business. And if you listen to Dara when you go on your YouTube and you do your research, this is how you can understand how Uber works when it comes to the business side. When it comes to the driving side, you've got to really strategize in the future because even though they're doing this, they're telling you when the, when the cities are starting to open up, right? You're going to start seeing pre-COVID pre -COVID, uh, uh, numbers, uh, fares. So that means the guarantees are going to go low. The quests are going to go away. And you're going to have straight fare miles and stuff. And, you know, it's scary to some people because you're like, bro, like, yo, I've been driving. And I'm putting maintenance on my car. I'm driving all the time. Uh, you know, I'm putting wear and tear and I'm putting gas in the car. Gas prices right now are high. Uh, so, you know, in a way you could... You're kind of offsetting the price of gas price right now at the moment. But what happens when all these guarantees goes away? 
So that's where, um, you know, uh, my opinion about this, this is a business move, you know, it's, it, and, and he says here, he says in 2020, many drivers stopped driving because they couldn't count on getting enough trips to make it worth their time. You know, um, I don't really, uh, in my opinion, uh, you know, they got, they got data, they can see that on their end. Uh, from what I hear with drivers, now, it was because of COVID, not because it wasn't worth their time. Uh, it was COVID. Um, they don't want to get sick, you know, and they already had the stories. There was this guy who died from COVID and he was a driver and people were going after Uber. Oh my God, what are you doing to protect the drivers? That's why Uber said you now have to wear the mask. Um, and, um, you know, when I'm looking at this and they're talking about reinvesting drivers, they did invest in us before in the beginning. Uh, when you started the job in Uber from the beginning, uh, you did have the guarantees. You had guarantees. You had bonuses that they were giving you in Quest. And drivers were making five, $600 a day, um, actually working less hours because the guarantees were more for less. You didn't have to do 100 trips and then make money. You could do 50 trips, 75 trips, and still make the same amount of money or bonus to, um, to, to, to plus what, you're, what you made with your fares. So... You know, when I see this here, I mean, it's good right now. Get in, get in it, and 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 milk it. You know, get in it and do what you got to do to 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 get your money and save some money to the side. Because if this is only your only job, you got a multi app. Uh, I don't know what Lyft is doing. I, I would assume Lyft is going to try to do the same thing because Lyft is bleeding, in my opinion, based off what I'm seeing. Uh, but you know, you want to really save your money. Um, and, and try to see other other ways to make money on the side. You don't want to just focus on Uber. Uh, Uber, Lyft, try to get everything in. There's this new app called Curio that I'm going to do a review on. I don't know about it. I just signed up for it, and I'm going to see if I can get an order in and then talk about it. You know, like I said, Corner Shop is by Uber. They, you can also do Corner Shop, Instacart, Shift. Um, and all of those companies are giving incentives for you to get back on their platforms and and work with their platforms uh, so they can continue to make their, their, their money. Uh, Uber's not profitable yet. So this $250 million, you know, for the nation thing, in my opinion, to be honest with you, I think it should be more than $250 million uh, because of the risk that we took for those drivers who actually took the risk of driving people around, taking them to Walmart, to work, to Publix, to grocery stores, because they were taking people to work. So anyway, I don't want to take too much time on this. Those are my, that's my opinion. If you guys have any thoughts about it, leave it in the description below. I'm working on getting, you know, let me see what this does here. I'm working on getting a you know, nice camera. Hopefully I can get one and, and have a better setup. You won't see my door and then my broomstick and then my window stuff. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Much appreciated. And uh, I will see you guys on the flip side. Peace. See, this is why I know it's bad. I'm about to click. I'm about to click. I click this button, and it's done.